we're gonna use a nifty function called getSell to make it happen. Let's break it down. First, you gotta click into the cell where you want this formula to live. Then, head over to the Formulas tab on your ribbon. Find the Name Manager. We're gonna create a new named reference. Let's give our formula a name, say, Cell Color. Now, in the Formula field, type in Get Cell, followed by an open bracket. Now, there are two pieces of info we need here. The first one's the index number. For color, it's 38. You can look up what other numbers mean online. Then, we need to specify the cell we're extracting info from. That's the one cell to the left in this example. We'll ditch the dollar signs by hitting F for until they vanish. Close the bracket, hit OK, and then close again. Now, let's write cell color and hit enter. That number there, in our case 6, it's like a code for the color. Yellow's 40, green's 50, you get the gist. Now, let's bring in the countif function. First, we need to define our range, those color numbers we just got. And what's our criteria? Well, since we're counting green, we'll just type in 50. Boom, two occurrences of green. But hold up, there's more. We can simplify by using cell color as our criteria instead. It does the same thing, only neater. Now, for the cherry on top, let's introduce sumif. Same as countif, but this time, we're summing up values based on color. Once again, cell color comes in as our criteria. Fix up the range, copy it down, and voila. It's doing its thing, counting and summing like a champ. Now, onto the less shiny bits. Firstly, you got to save your file as a macro-enabled workbook. And here's the kicker, if you change a cell's color, the formula won't automatically update. You'll have to copy it down again for a recalculation. Annoying, I know. And lastly, conditional formatting won't play nice with this setup. But hey, despite these quirks, it's still a handy solution to have in your Excel arsenal. Alright, that's a wrap. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for tuning in.